My childhood was anything but perfect. From my earliest memory until I was a teenager, I was molested. At the age of nine, I watched my father shoot himself in the head. When I was 15, a man who had just been released from doing a 20-year prison sentence raped me. And by the time I was 17, I was being sex trafficked. How does a kid survive? I became the queen of the masquerade, the great pretender. I had to be the best at everything. I was trying to prove my worth because inside I felt so worthless. I married a successful man. We had the all-American dream. We had the children. We bought the big home. We had the picket fence. I drove a Porsche. From the outside, it looked as if I had the world in the palm of my hand. Little did I know that my life would spiral out of control. This is me. I ended up homeless, living on the streets, eventually under a bridge, holding a sign, begging for change. When people went by, all they saw was a homeless woman. I had tried to commit suicide many times. I had given up hope of ever being a mom again. <clears throat> there were days when I was encouraged to seek employment when I was on the streets. But how can you feel hopeful of being hired when your clothes are dirty, you smell, you have weeks worth of dirt under your fingernails and your hair is greasy and a mess? 2016, I incorporated a nonprofit. We retrofit city buses into fully self-contained mobile showers and with our new and laundry facility. To date, we have done, provided 30,000 showers and 50,000 services. <laughs> Together, Let's restore human dignity. My life is truly beyond my wildest dreams. I hope it is. And you, you can make a difference. We've all heard that saying, follow your dreams. I follow my dream. Every time I follow our mobile showers to, to provide services for the unhoused. I truly do believe that I had to live both sides of the spectrum so I could come back here and find my purpose from homeless to CEO.